What's up, what's up? Jessica here from Devru. In today's video, I need to talk to you guys about direct linking. So as you know, I run a ton of push traffic on my channel. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now before we dive into the content because you're not going to want to miss what I covered today and what I'm going to be covering in some of my upcoming videos. So direct linking, yay or nay? Direct link or not? Nah? We're going to figure that out in today's presentation. So let's go ahead and dive into my computer and get started. Let's go. When should you and when should you not direct link? There are going to be times where direct link, ugh, <laughs> direct link, link, damn, can I talk? Direct linking just won't work out, right? So um, I personally like to do both, uh, more so direct linking because I need a time saver. So I'm just going to jump right into the first pro is that you save hella time just direct linking, um, to be honest with you. If I can get the, sorry, y'all. <laughs> What is going on? Can I get, thank you, it's a time saver. So um, yeah, direct linking, you have probably seen me on my channel do a whole bunch of take a campaign, find an offer, build it, and then go straight to the landing page sent to me by the affiliate network. And that should not be done on every network out there. I would really only recommend doing that with Yep and Big Bang Ads. Now, even though, no, I got I got maybe two more because their their lenders are pretty good. So, um, yeah, you can't do that with every network because their landing pages suck. I don't know who they hired to be their designers, but they suck. And you want to make sure that your landing pages, if not get the conversion, at least keep the user engaged. And some of them are not able to achieve that. So you got to be careful. But time saver, uh, yeah, 100% because you don't have to do anything. It's already done for you. And then you have the lenders that are already tested. I love it when I say, hey, we got this, when I get a message from our affiliate manager, and they're like, oh, we got this new lender that we're testing, and it's been performing really good, do you guys want to try it out? And it's like they try to sneak in a new offer. I already know it. It's all good. But sometimes the lenders are actually pretty dope. So you test it, you run it, you might get 100 conversions in a day like I did, and then, oh, you're in, you're in the money. You're in the money bank. So... I like them because they're tested already. They like to run them by affiliates that they know can perform pretty good. So if you are on the up up of your affiliate network, then that's something they should be doing for you if you have a relationship like that with your affiliate manager. And then direct linking means that you're going to be working with professional designs. I don't know first thing about um, graphic design. I'm pretty good. I have a, you know I have an eye for a certain thing, um, but literally breaking down the graphics and Going into Adobe and doing what they do, that takes a lot of time. Now, I can't do it. It just takes a lot of time. So it's already done for you. Again, time saver professional, win-win. Um, and then also, you can actually study the angles that these networks use. They come up with some pretty dope angles. And I'm like, hmm, I should have thought of that. And they're pretty straightforward, just like how we would do super simple. In the survey template format is where a lot of these lenders wind up for Sweet Six. Um, very rarely do I see any spinners or any uh, anything interactive. But when I do see something interactive, it's, it's very good. And it's updated and it's modern. And the user interface is fresh and it's bright and it's appealing and so some of those things can actually be useful to your campaign um, kind of draws back into saving time again because I have gone into landing pages that have had some pretty good images and I'm like yeah I'm just gonna throw this on the push notification and it's worked so you know direct linking can be the bomb if you happen to find a good campaign that has a good setup now, when is direct linking not the bomb and actually just dropping bombs and fucking up everything? So, if you are direct linking, you are limiting yourself from optimizing. I do want to just be upfront about that. You can't change any of the, of the elements on the lander. I mean, you can request for changes. So, if there's something that you would need from a network like Big Bang Ads, who is their own direct advertiser, who has control of the landing pages, he can say, uh, this isn't really hitting too good. Um, do you think you can put this in for me? And if they can, they will. It may take a few weeks. It may take a few days. Not a few hours, I tell you that. But they will get down to it. So you can't optimize the elements on a lander, but they can. And some networks are willing to do that. Like Big Bang Ads. Um, loading speeds. They may suck. They may be fucking horrible. Um, if you are using like a little your bridge page to engage or kind of warm up the user and then you let's say you want to do a combination where you have your bridge page which is like a one one liner 
and then you have your landing page from the affiliate network that you decide to also use, right? So you can use their survey or something like that. Let's say your flow is just hella complicated <laughs> from what I'm saying. Um, this is going to impact your speeds or even if you just redirect straight to a landing page from the network and it loads slow, you are redirecting to their server. So you may not have the performance that you're looking for, so you got to be mindful of that. Um, that may determine whether or not you need to switch things up really quick and host your own lander. Um, you're not going to be able to test different versions. Different types of landers work for different types of offer. You may need an avatorial, you may need a video, you may need to do a survey. You may need to test all of these because you don't know what the hell is going on with the database. Like with Zero Park, it's so fucking big. Like I need to nail down the persona the best I can. So I will come up with three different variations to see who is clicking on this. And then from those variations that I can determine from the push notification, then I can say, okay, this is the lander that I need. This is a lander that's going to increase click-through rates and increase conversion rates. That's kind of the, the, the thought pattern that you guys should be in. Um, may not fit the audience persona again. So, like, for example, for a gasoline offer, you would expect to see maybe gas um, stations or someone pumping gas on the lander. No. For this offer, they gave me a lander that had a truck and a mountain on it. And I'm like, what is this? Am I advertising to a car dealership? It looked more so like a car dealership offer because it made no sense. It's a random vehicle, no brand on it, and it's in the mountains talking about gas. Help me understand how this lender makes sense. So in situations like that, I do not bite my tongue. I'm always like, yo, what the hell is this about? Um, why do y'all have this kind of lender? And they're like, oh, we tested it. It worked out. It looked good. And I'm like, all right, let me just see if I'm right. And I was right. The shit flopped. So sometimes you got to go with your gut. Sometimes your gut is right. Not all the time when it comes to marketing. Sometimes you literally just need to test and see what happens. This time I was like, no. Logically, it's no way. So you, you can have common sense when you're looking at these lenders and say, all right, no, direct linking is just not going to fly in this case. I'm going to need to come up with my own shit. Come up with your own shit in that case. So how do you? What are your alternatives? Where do you turn whenever you're like, well, I can't use their lander, so what's next? Well, here's what you got to do. Just You just rip lenders. So spy tools, um, come with them. They let you download them. Good to go. You can do, uh, you can do a, a website downloader. You got extensions in Google that you can download. You got programs that you can download into your computer. Tons of options. They're there. So you just clean them. Clean the files and you're good to go. I think we have a video in the forum that shows you how to do it. I will dive a little deeper into it now. Since the push course has gone live and they're getting a little traction, I can kind of jump into some content that I was kind of holding back for for them. Now I can share it with you guys in my YouTube world. Um, and then custom HTML sites. You may need to go on Fiverr and hire somebody. You might find somebody you really, really like. You might get good at doing your own code. You might have a cousin in the family that is pretty damn good with it because he's spent his whole high school career on MySpace when MySpace was on and popping. Because I was thinking about it and I was like, this is just like MySpace. And I was like, oh, well, hello, Epiphany Me, because I was the bomb at doing MySpace pages. So now that I put two and two together, now I'm rocking through these HTML codes like it's nobody's business. That could be you. If you used to be big on MySpace, if you're not big on MySpace, fucking hire somebody. Um, custom landing pages. So if HTML is just not for you, if ripping lenders and cleaning them up, you're just too too scared to be ripped off by another affiliate who's better at code than you, fine. Build a landing page. Go with that. I am going to ask you, though, for me, for personal reasons, refrain from click funnels. Um, only because... As I have dived deeper into this industry with affiliate marketing, I meet I meet some awesome, phenomenal people. And I have the opportunity to really get down into the transparency and the background of certain things, right? And when I throw things out there, it's very comforting to know that someone who has had experience with developing programs and working with programs and who is actually giving something a chance can have an unbiased conversation about me about that program. The shit sucks for ClickFunnels. Not only can you not track with it that we discovered last minute in the recent mastermind that we held in September, but 
we as a company needed something done. Like I do the blogs here and we decided to transfer our domain to ClickFunnels and have it hosted there so we redirect all our traffic to the funnel. Well, we changed our mind. We wanted to switch it back. We, I don't think we ever managed to get that done. Uh, Colin was probably with their support team for like a week or I don't know, hella long. Fucking too long. Where you should be able to ask a question and get it done like that. Um, it's kind of like what the guys are going through with NBA 2K19, right? Where you got all these bugs and they release these uh, these batches and then the batches create new bugs. And you're like, how do I have an issue that I didn't have before in this batch? And um, that's kind of, but at least they're releasing batches, right? Where they're trying to update something. ClickFunnels is just focused on revenue. Um, they're a big marketing ploy. They they got all of these products that look that are like stay the fuck away. To be honest with you, if you're if you're serious about affiliate marketing, um, I guess ClickFunnels is a good way to get your foot in the game and kind of get an understanding of marketing and you know engaging and delivering value. I don't know. It's all fluff to me. I really don't like it. Um, but anyway, what I'm getting at is there's other alternatives out there. There is one that's cheaper. I don't know if it's better, but I'm going to give it to you because it's cheaper. And I know keeping your overhead at bay is great for a beginner um, at this stage. But let me tell you what's good for you. Unbounce is decent because Unbounce's platform is you can customize it with your HTML codes. You can use their templates. They don't have an ability for you to build forms, so you got to get creative. You can use CSS style cheats. JavaScript, whatever you need to do that you would usually do just on a blank HTML format, you can do an unbounce. In addition to using their drag and drop feature, Convertry, I like them. Um, they have been around a little bit. They changed their setup a little bit where you can only get a certain amount of impressions. Um, I think Anstrex has a landing page downloader where you can download your uh, landing pages and you can modify them there. I am testing a new tool called Clicker Vault, which is 100% free that I'll show you guys in another video that you can use to download landing page and, and edit them. Um, but Unbounce and Convertry are really good. I like XFunnels. I checked this out last night, so I was being nosy as a social media content monitor, manager, marketer, whatever the hell I do around here. I do it all. But I was, um, I was just being nosy. And the reason why I love the internet is people share shit. And if something produces value for someone, they spread the word. Bad news travels fast, but the good news sticks out. It, it just really does. It sticks out like a sore thumb. And I was surprised that no one really gave her any feedback on how dope that her post was. And I was like, girl, bless you, child. Because now I can tell you guys that XFunnels is out there. XFunnels is cool. They will build the site for you for $100 a month plus your monthly subscription of $14 a month. I haven't really dug into the tool to, to see if it's clunky, to see um, if the user interface is, is intuitive or not, but it's $14 and they have a free trial. So check out XFunnels, holla at me if you do it before I do, um, but I'll get around to um, a review of a whole bunch of tools. Like I'm just going to review the crap out of everybody because that's just what I feel like doing. And then if you guys have any content requests, let me know. So Kartra. I like Kartra. It's um, an all-in-one feature. If you are a hardcore digital marketer, you can do your email, you can do your CRM, you can promote your own products, you can have an affiliate program, you can do a membership site. You can do it all. You can have funnels, you can have sites, you can do it all. But Kartra is a pretty penny. Like You got to pay for that shit. You, you pay for what you get. I give you that. Um, so if that's something you're interested in to where you don't want to be limited in how many funnels you want to build, because um, I think there are certain caps. Um, with how many you can build with the three that I gave you, then Kartra is probably where you need to go. And then if you have another program that you want to suggest to recommend to us, let me know. I'll be happy to look into it, check them out, see how they do and perform in a campaign. So what are your next steps? What do you do now? So do you direct link or not? Because I've given you the pros, I've given you the cons, I've given you the resources. Download a site ripper if you want to customize your shit. You can download the uh, landers from the affiliate network. You can download the landers from the spike tools. You can download a lander that you stumble on yourself by navigating the internet. If you have Windows, get HT Track. If you have, or is it HT? Yeah, I think I spelled it right. And if you have Apple, get Sitesucker. It'll literally just 
asks you to enter the URL and then it creates a, a local folder for you and it saves all of the files. Or you can just right click and save the HTML code directly from your browser in the menu or you can download um, an extension or there's an extension on Google called Single Site that you can download to use. So after you get all of that, you're gonna need an HTML editor. Use one that you prefer. I say go with brackets because you can do live views in brackets and that will probably be good for you. Um, you're gonna need a tracker. I say do trackers to test in all your landers. So you can use them in a flow, distribute the, the weight evenly in your lander as far as how many clicks you're gonna be redirecting to these particular landers. See how they perform. Just get just get testing happy. Um, and then learn some basic HTML coding because you may want to customize a few things. Um, and it's an HTML education is free. You don't have to invest in that anything but time. Um, Solo Learn, you just download it into your mobile phone. I think they have it for both Android and Apple. And you just bust out some modules and there you go. So, I mean, what I'll do, actually, let me switch camera views real quick. All right, so to sum this up, I have made direct linking work. I personally like it because it gives me an idea of um, if the offer is going to convert. I use it during the three-day rule. Um, because it gives me an idea of I, what I need to optimize. It gives me another optimization stuff in the three-day rule. If I'm already direct linking and it works great, then I, know, then I know that I maybe need to make a similar lander like this. Or if it doesn't work, then all right, I know I need to switch it around. Um, and then I just go from there. Allow me to introduce the Dice University Forum. Whether you are trying to make your first conversion on ClickBank or scale your campaigns to six figures, the Dice University Forum offers you exactly what you need, like high-quality landing page templates, detailed case studies, and exclusive discounts. The forum has no outdated information. All resources inside are from campaigns that are running right now. Do you want to learn from super affiliates? Check the link in the description and sign up today.